Well, here I am detecting at the school. There it is, Centennial Highlands. It's the name of the school. It's the place where I work. Um, I'm out here trying to find a time capsule because the school is uh, just over 50 years old. And uh, today I found so far a nice little silver quarter. I hope it's silver. It's from 1968. An old buckle, probably from the 60s. And I just found this. Are you ready to see? There it is, another wheat scent. Yay, so fun to find these. There it is, nice view of it. I don't know what ear it is yet. Let me take a look and see if we can find it. Anybody see it? What have we got? 1952, awesome. Very good, wish me luck on finding the uh, time capsule. Thanks. See you later. Well, let's see what's in the hole here. If you notice, um, when I swung over this hole, let's uh, make that level. When I swung over this hole, there was an 80, some odd 80 sound. When I go over the plug, all of a sudden we got quite a jump. 70 something, sometimes 14. So let's go after it, see what we got. All right, well, right off the bat, the GP pointer is picking it up. Oh, look at that. Yay, we have ourselves a loony. Yay. Lucky loony, pay some more batteries. Thanks. Well, I just uh, flipped over my plug. I had a very faint 80s signal, and watch this one. changing into a 50 something signal, but I could see it right here. What do you think it is? Probably a nickel. Yeah, I found a few of those. Nickels tend to come up in um, a jumpy signal if they're new, and this one's old, so 1969. Nice old nickel signal. Cool. Something that's older than 1977, I know that for sure. Uh, because it says, let's see it, the village of Shelburne, a friendly community. Well, Shelburne was made into a town in 1977, um, so I know this was before 1977, kind of an interesting little artifact from our local community. I thought that's pretty neat. I've got some sort of iron artifact down in here, my pinpointer's going crazy. Right underneath there. I can feel it. Let's see what that is. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's an old farming implement or a gate. It could have been a pin for the tractor. Who knows? It's quite heavy, eh? Anyway, not the time capsule. Anyway. Oh, I sure had to go deep after this one. Take a look how deep that is, right down there at the bottom of my pinpointer. And it's old, but not worth anything. Take a look. We have an old tin can. One of those beaver tails would have been on top there. Can't believe they go rusty. I don't know what kind this is. Looks like it was yellow or orange with blue writing. Very interesting. I found this is the third old can I found here open its time capsule. Too bad. I hit something big and hard right there. It's the corner of it. Let's get this thing out of the ground. What do you think it would be? I hope so. I don't know. Let's go for it. Well, I've been digging at it for a little bit. It kind of feels like just a plate, but let me see here. Yeah. I might need to dig this plug just a wee bit bigger here. Me and my short Walmart shovel. I love it. Especially that it was less than 10 bucks. Let's see what this thing is. Alright. Uh, I don't think it's a time capsule. 
got it all the way over to there. Hmm. Give it a prime. There we go. What could it be? Huh. Well, it kind of looks like an old hinge. Painted on one side for sure. Go <laughs> figure. Another boat wraps up the day. I spent about two hours here. Um, found a lot of junk. It's amazing how deep a pop can can be. And that's, um, anyway, a little frustrating. So here are my finds for the day. Um, give you a quick look. There they are, look at that pile of trash. Of course I was looking for a handle to the time capsule and found lots of other trash, that's for sure. And you'd come across a few good finds here. Look at the size of that bolt and that pipe. And that buckle's pretty cool. The pen was neat. $1.75 in good change, 15 cents in nickels, the wheat penny, and eight other pennies.